I'm Marianne Gordon and I'm a Feng Shui expert in the Los Angeles area. You can get free tips and videos on my website at www.fengshuiwithme.com. Hi! Hi Marianne! How are you? Good, how are you? Nice good, to see you. Good. Thank you. Today, I'm going to perform a house blessing, also known as space clearing or sage burning. And I'm going to show you exactly how it needs to be done. So Margot, why do we need to do space clearing before doing any feng shui work? It's because all houses carry negative energy. So I recommend doing it before moving into a new home or after an argument or after an illness. And another thing is it kills 94% of airborne bacterial populations. Okay. So that's a good reason to do it every month or so. Nice. First, you're gonna need some floating candles. Five is a good number. They represent the fire element. Then you're gonna need a sage stick and some herbs and some flowers, also representing the wood element. Then you will need a bell, representing the metal element. Then you will need some rock crystals, representing the earth element, as well as a ceramic bowl, representing also the earth element. And finally, some hot water, which represents the water element. So we can smell the fragrance of the herbs. And I'm gonna put some of these medicinal herbs, bay leaf, some time in the bowl and we're gonna start lighting the candles and place them on the bowl so here we go as I said five is a really good number it's a very uh, lucky number so now that we've lit up the candles we can either light up some more candles on the tray here make it pretty and now we are gonna burn the sage. We have to light it up very well so that we can see some nice smoke. Nice, look at the smoke, it's perfect. And now we're gonna go from room to room using the sage stick and the bell. So here we are in the kitchen, which also happens to be your helpful people and mentors area, according to your Bagua map. So we are going to sage and say an intention. And after that, we're gonna ring the bell. So here we can say, may this kitchen be blessed and helpful people and mentors come into our lives and bring us bountiful opportunities. Another thing is to understand your Bagua map. Mm -hmm. So you can go to my website. I have a blog post about how to understand your Bagua map. If you have any doubts, you can contact me. So here we're in the living room, which also happens to be your romance and relationships area. So we are going to set up an intention related to your love and romance. So we can say something like, may this living room be blessed and our couple be blessed and may we be happy and healthy together every day. So Margot, you complete the whole house like this, okay. according to your Bagua map. Mm -hmm. And you can leave the candles burning until the flames die out. Okay. Here you go. Now it's your turn. Let me know how it goes. Happy space clearing. Bye.